Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Maria. Today we are making two simple fall crafts. Let's get to it. Okay, the first DIY is a three pumpkins stacked up. They're small, they're not too big, um, but there's it's a small one. But anyway, I am going to paint them first and then stack them. The first color that I'm using is the dark one. It's the DIY paints. It's the Bohemian Blue. That lighter blue is 057. And the light color is crinoline. It's kind of like a tan or a beige color, I would say. So we're going to start by um, taking the tops off of the pumpkins. Um, the stem. Take the stem off the pumpkin. And um, then we're going to put those to the side because I'm not going to use the bigger one. I'm going to end up using the smaller one that I'm taking off of the middle pumpkin. Um, it seems to be stuck in there, so I was kind of fighting with that one. And then we're going to paint the colors. So the big one is going to be Bohemian Blue. The middle is going to be the O57. And the top is going to be the crinoline. Okay, so I did end up putting like uh, one of them sticks to hold them up and I put it on a styrofoam so they can dry completely. Once they were done drying um, completely, I did add some big top over it just to give it that shine and that that vibrant look. Um, and then I painted them while they were still on the sticks. After I put the big top, I did put them to the side so they can dry completely. Um, after they're completely dry, um, I like the way they look. Their big top actually gives it that big shine. The color just pops out more. I don't know. I just, I like the way it looks. Um, so I take them off of the styrofoam and take the sticks off of them. And then I start to stack them up to make sure that I have them on the right way. And it's not leaning to the side or anything so once i figure that out and how it's gonna sit or on top of the other um then i get the styrofoam and i start putting them on top I do use my glue gun to hot glue everything onto like together I glue the big pumpkin to the styrofoam and so on and then I start to pick out my leaves that I'm going to use for to decorate the bottom of the styrofoam. Now I feel like the bottom was too plain so I ended up adding the ribbon. Um, the ribbon was perfect because it had blue and orange pumpkins on it so I thought that it went perfect with that. Um, so after I did that I added some flowers just to make it look a little bit better and that one is done. So off to the next one. The next DIY is a pumpkin that I made um, using a vase that I had since I'm incorporating this color with my fall decor this year. I thought that it would be perfect to make a pumpkin with. So like I said before, you can make a pumpkin out of anything. So I saw this vase, I saw the shape and I said, hey, you know, it's this one that I use for the spring, but I can incorporate it in my decor. So um, we're going to start by cleaning the glass with the alcohol like I always do. Um, and then we're going to use the rope to 
wrap it around because the rope is going to represent the stem of the pumpkin. Okay, so the leaf that I'm using is from a garland that I had and I was just picking these off of it before um, and I had some leaves left on it so I picked this one out but I wanted to put it together with the stem so I was gluing the rope around the vase and I glued that part with the leaves on it and then I continued to put around it because I wanted it to be glued together and I didn't want the leaves to fall um I don't know for whatever reason but I wanted to make sure that it was secure on that part of the vase. Okay, when I finally reached the top, I was just going to do the top, but then I ended up changing my mind and I ended up doing the whole thing. So this was my thought. The vase I've had for a long time and I use it for other things. However, I'm using the hot glue and the reason why I'm using the hot glue is because the hot glue can easily come off at any moment that I want. Um, if I'm done using, like I want to take the leaves off or the rope, I can actually use my heat gun, melt that glue down, and then unrope everything and I can use the vase for something else. So this is the purpose of me using um, the hot glue gun on this project because I can always take everything off. It's not permanent. So I was okay with doing this on this specific vase. Um, but I did end up covering the whole opening with the rope um, to make it look more like a whole stem and then it's got the leaves and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I know that I can reuse this for something else in the spring. Now to finish this off, I do end up adding um, a little bit of fabric that I got from the dollar store and I end up gluing another flower on there. The fabric is just tied on there. The fabric is not glued on there. Um, the flower is glue with the hot glue and then I add the fabric on but that was pretty much what I did with this one it was really fast and simple something I already had on hand but you can easily get a, get a vase from the dollar store it doesn't have to be blue it can be a clear vase um, but I hope you like these two simple ones I have more videos to come please like and subscribe for more videos um, I hope you like these thanks for watching bye